Hey everyone, what's up? This is Freefall here and today I'm going to go through disabling SSL version 3 and TLS version 1.0. And the reason I'm actually doing this, uh, not just to show you guys, is because I come across this an awful lot on external and internal tests. And this is actually the first time I've gone through disabling it myself and testing it myself locally. So I thought I'd share that with you guys as well. So on the left hand side here we have the server 2012 VM and on the right hand side we've got the Kali VM here. So disabling SSL version 3 and TLS 1.0 is actually pretty simple and we just do it in the registry editor. So uh, in your run box get up regedit, hit enter and yes. Now what we're looking for is the HKEY local machine, then we're going for system current control set, control, and we're going to go all the way down and we're looking for security providers. There we go, drop that down, we're looking for S channel, again drop it down, and then protocols. Now you can see here that support for SSL 2.0, the entry has already been made to disable it. And I can show you this here if we go to the Kali VM and do an SSL scan on the IP address of the 2012 box. So there's no SSL version 3 supported by the 2012 server, but you can see there's 1.0 and SSL version 3. And they're what, they're what we're going to be disabling today. So to do that, it's just a right click on protocols and new and choose new key. We're going to call this one SSL space 3.0. Hit enter. Now going back to the SSL 2.0, if we hit that drop down, you can see there's there are two subfolders that are sub keys called clients and server. So we're going to create them as well in SSL version 3.0. New key. So client and then same again new key and server if I can spell cool so going back to SSL 2.0 client you can see there's a D word here disabled by default and it's set to one so we're just going to set that now in 3.0 right click on the client new D word 32 bit Disabled by default, enter, and then double click, and we're going to change that value to one to set it to be disabled by default. Okay, then click in on SSL 2.0 server, got a key here, uh, sorry, a reg, uh, reg entry enabled, and that's set to zero. So we're going to replicate that in SSL 3.0. New D with 32 bit enabled enter and it's already set to zero. Now I'm just going to do exactly the same now, create one for TLS uh, version 1.0. So I'm going to pause it and come back when I've done. Okay, so we're back and you can see just been away for a minute and I've done exactly the same what I did for SSL 3.0. Again, TLS 1.0 created client and server. Uh, disabled by default one on the client and enabled set to zero on the server. And all we need to do now is just uh, restart the box. So then whilst that's restarting, I'll pause it and come back again. Hey everyone, so I just restarted the 2012 box. And you can see here previously we had TLS version 1.0 and SSL version 3. So we're just going to clear that. And we're going to run that again, SSL scan. Fingers crossed. It should now be disabled. There we go. So as you can see, SSL scan is now confirmed. A scan of the host, uh, the 2012 server. We have now disabled SSL version 3 and TLS 1.0. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll be back with more videos soon.